right now. And welcome back to Hannity. Another new scandal is about to rock the IRS. According to the AP, the tax agency is going to be slammed in a scathing report by the inspector general. And that's set to be released tomorrow. It will reportedly detail how the agency has spent nearly $50 million on 220 conferences for employees between 2010 and 2012. But that's not all. Listen to what Congressman Rogers revealed at today's House hearing on the IRS scandal. Watch this. Now, in addition to the $50 million for conferences over the last three years. Uh, the press is reporting that the IRS paid out more than $92 million in bonuses uh, during that three-year period. And within that sum, uh, key figures in the current scandal uh, and got bonuses. A lot of money. Pretty unbelievable. Joining me now with Reaction Radio talk show host Dana Lash and Democratic strategist, former Kerry campaign aide Mark Hanna. Mark, let me show you. The House Ways and Means Committee released an IRS video showing employees line dancing in their offices. Take a look. To the right. To the left. Three, four. It's so challenging to teach them, even though the lyrics are the directions to the dance. My goodness. To the right, to the right, to the right. This is harder than doing an op review. To the left, I need a straight line. You're trying to get ready for Anaheim. Stay in line. $50 million in conferences, $92 million in bonuses, and line dancing on the job. Any problem with that, Mark? <laughs> I, uh, Sean, I'll, you, you might be surprised. I'll agree with you that that might not be the best use of taxpayer dollars. I'll just say, though, that, you know, God forbid the uh, Fox News employees have an outing and where they have these team build building exercises and somebody catches it with a camera like this. It's, well, no, it's well, embarrassing one, it's for sure. Corporation for th number two, I can promise you. Sure. No, I've I never know. been line dancing with Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> but people would pay to see that. People would pay. The but look, no, I, I'll agree that this is embarrassing for the administration, but, but here's what progressives think when they look at this. They look at Darrell Ice is trying to link what happened in Cincinnati to Washington, D.C. So far, he's, Candy Crowley just yesterday morning said when interviewing Ice that there was no, there was no sort of, it was, it was totally not um, definitive that there, there was this link. So he, we end up with this like sideshow, this, this public spectacle, instead of pursuing the public interest, which is Americans know, need to know what actually happened at the IRS. Well, and if there know. was I mean, uh, malfeasance, but, but we, we need know. to find that out. Dana, wow. don't we know what happened? No, no. I, no hang on, had, Dana, Dana, Dana. All right, first of all, there, there, was, there was such a, an egregious false equivalence made here that, that has to be corrected. First and foremost, the last time I checked, Sean, Fox News was not funded by the American taxpayer. Fox News didn't require billions upon billions and billions of dollars and went out and persecuted conservatives while they were taking taxpayer-funded dollars as well. There's a big difference. It's a government entity. This is a business, and it's, you know, it's television. I mean, come on, let's, let's be real about oh, this. It was a joke. Sean, what I don't Dana, understand. Was a joke, like what not. I don't understand. Oh, I, no, it wasn't. You spent like two minutes on it. You were trying to make a point. You failed. So let's just own it was, that. It was a on. funny video, but, though. But Sean, my, I have to my make point this is point. that it's I more of a side point. show. No, 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 no. no. I'm time. talking. I'm talking, and I'm right. going to. I'm going to finish my point. This is, it, how much was this? What, $50 million that was spent? Sean, it would have been amazing if they could have used some of this money for training for IRS employees to make sure that they knew how to not target Tea Partiers and conservatives and pro-Israel groups and Jewish groups. I think it would have gone a long way. Maybe a little sensitivity training and some responsibility yeah. training. Let me, let me throw to, th there was a very key moment. It was a checkmate moment on Meet the Press this weekend. David Pluff and our own Carl Rove because this is about targeting one group of people. Let's roll this tape. Hmm. There's been no suggestion. The independent, uh, the, the prosecutor looked at this, excuse me, the inspector general, said there was no politics involved in this. No one has indicated at all that the White House was involved. The IRS director was appointed under President Bush, served under both presidents, attested. No one from, so this was not a political pursuit. Well, baloney. This, no, not baloney. baloney, Carl. Well, if it was not political, then why are only conservative groups being targeted? They why did, why did they, they pick groups targeted? targeted? Oh, really? Name one. Was, name one. That, but, well, what Carl, conservative, what liberal group had Tea Party or Patriot in its name that it was targeted? This was not, not a single liberal group has, has appeared to say. You're taking bright license here, Carl. No, I'm not. I, I am not here. at all. This this was not an effort driven by the White House. It would be the dumbest political effort of all time. All right, Mark, can you name one liberal group targeted by this IRS? 
Yeah, Progress Texas is a liberal group in uh, Texas. There's also a group of Chicago reporters that is a little bit more progressive that got targeted as well. Targeted? Look, I'm not because, saying wait, that because of, wait, because of their name? Two, because two they're liberal? Okay, let me, no, let me, let me, yeah, let me clarify. Not Ooh, targeted. What groups. happened here? Let's, let's, I know, Dana, let's zoom out a little bit. What happened in the wake of the uh, Supreme Court justice ruling of Citizens United, you had 1,700 applications flooding the IRS because all of a sudden the regulations were liberalized and anybody reasons. could... If oh, I they admitted they, 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 the inspector general found that it wasn't done for political reasons. It was sloppy, it was reckless, it had a horrible effect, and the oh. president is right to be oh. outraged about it. Hang on, Dana, last word. But it was, it yeah. Yeah. So, it wasn't so, done, so on per, it it wasn't was done politically. Bolo. Bolo, one word, Bolo. Be on the lookout. So, how many progressive means. groups uh, use? I know. Well, you should if you're talking about this issue. How many progressive groups use the terms Tea Party and Patriot in in their mission statements describing themselves when they go and apply for tax exemption status? Because Tea Party was one of the Bolo list. Maybe you should read that IG report. Where right. were you when Ashcroft was going after the NAACP and liberal churches in Southern California? That's where's this is all this One righteous group. indignation is so really that justifies well it. So you agree that the NAACP should be targeted? It's, okay, thanks for being on the record. I agree about that, that there's a culture a culture of over surveillance in the Justice no, Department. No, you're excusing I'll grant you that. it. You're excusing from the it by era. trying to use three groups as an example. But it's I, great. I love that we have another white Democrat on the record saying that it's okay to go after you know NAACP because it justifies this in this instance. All right, guys, we're going to leave it right so, there. Good, good to, to see you, both. Dana. Dana. Good to see you and uh, appreciate Thanks. your time.